wrap it or twist it. Some of you asked for this test. There is a big dichotomy between those two. How bad is for the wire to, to twist it? This is also something that I wanted to test and find out how bad and how, how much it stresses the wire or damages it to bend it. There are two reasons to twist or wrap the wire. One, it's to keep more than one wire together in a homogene uh, condition. In case you don't want to use a thicker wire, so you just join two or more wires. And the most important one for stop motion is that if you use more than one wire, once you break one, you will notice. So it's like a, an advice to you that you have to finish the shot really, really careful. I didn't expect that results. I thought that the rapid one would win. I stopped its video after the two wires were broken. I tried to make exactly the same with each wire. All the wires were from the same coil and it had one millimeter in thickness. It's interesting to know that in this one, the first wire broke at 46 turns and the second one lasts longer than 100 turns. I think that between 5 and 10 turns for a piece of 15 centimeters, it's the sweet spot for twisting wire. The twisting should look like this. Of course, if you twist a lot of wire, it gets damaged. But just a bit, it's okay. That's it for this test. I will keep twisting wire for my puppets. If you don't over twist the wire, you will be safe. And it's way faster than wrapping. Two persons following this channel will receive those two rigs. Do you remember the giveaway? I announced the winners two weeks ago, but very few people saw the results. So I am playing the video here and if you are one of those, please try to contact me because the mail is not working and I really want to give them as promised. If not, I will pick new winners and other people will have a chance to get them. Thanks for watching and enjoy your time.